Hi, fifth graders. Mr. Madley coming to you from my kitchen. Uh, we're going to be learning a little bit more about plants today. And one thing we know about plants is that they use their stems to get their nutrients and water from the ground. One way we can show that is by using some plants, flowers in this case, a glass jar, some water, and some food coloring. All I'm going to do is take a glass jar, fill it with some water. I'm going to add about 10 drops of blue food coloring. That way, the water is nice and colorful so that hopefully the end result of this experiment will also lead to our plants, our flowers in this case, being colorful. So what we're going to do is just make a fresh cut to our flowers here and hopefully when we come back and check on them in a little while, not that one, it was broken. When we come back and check on them a little while, hopefully we'll see some blue coloration in the flowers thanks to the blue food coloring from the water because hopefully we'll learn and see that the stems of our flowers are gonna soak up all that blue water. Okay, we'll check on you in a little bit. Five hours later. Hi fifth graders, welcome back. So after we let our flowers sit in the water with the blue food coloring, you can tell that the stems have soaked up the blue water and it's now caused the flower petals to change color. This proves that the stems are how flowers and plants soak in their nutrients and their water. You can do this at home. All you need is some food coloring, some water, some flowers. It works with cabbage, other sorts of plants. All right. And you can use any other sort of color and you'll see different variations. Stay safe.